Hi, this is Samuel Peary with Getting Finances Done and 12 Weeks to Fiscal Fitness. And this screencast is going to be talking about You Need a Budget, also known as YNAB. And this is the budgeting software that I use to do my budget. And it is far superior to using a spreadsheet or Quicken or any other tool. Um, we, we've tried them all. And this is by far the easiest and best tool that we've found to do a budget. And one of the reasons for that is it's built on specific principles. And some of these are the exact same principles I talked about in my uh, podcast of 10 Secrets to Budgeting Success. Specifically, Rule 1 and 2. Rule 1 is saying stop live paycheck to paycheck. In other words, you want to build up a month's worth of expenses and have that in your bank account and so that when you're budgeting, you're using last month's income instead of this month's income and really cutting it down to the wire and you living paycheck to paycheck. The second rule is giving every dollar a job. And I talked about this in context of the zero-based budget, that you want to be able to allocate every single dollar of income that you have. And not only that, but you want to make sure you're held accountable from month to month, so that if you spend too much in a category, you have to account for that and either decrease another category or budget l less in the subsequent month. And so we're going to be talking about this, and, and let me go through a specific example of why this software is so great. I'm going to create an account. I'm, going to, I'm not going to go into detail of this process because I'm going to be doing this in a, a subsequent podcast. In fact, I'm going to do a whole series of podcasts about this, walking you step by step how to create your accounts and how to get this set up for your budget. But let's do a, a sample transaction here in our new checking account and we're going to have some income of two thousand dollars let's say now one of the things that's critical and actually i just didn't do that let's go back and edit it. one of the things that's critical when when you do income is that you categorize it and you say whether it's available this month or next month so let's select that it's available this month we're actually going to use that money this month and now we're going to go to our budget this is where the magic happens and the reason that the budget section here is so great is that it creates a kind of a virtual envelope system in fact you see these little files here um, kind of showing the virtual envelope system and it allows you to keep track of even if you have one checking account it allows you to keep track of what that money is assigned to do within that checking account in fact you need a budget is so simple there's only these three different screens you can view and that's part of the power of you need a budget. Unlike Quicken, where it tries to be everything to everybody, this is trying to be a solid budgeting tool, and that's it. And it does a great job at it. So let's look at our budget now. In March, we have $2,000 available this month. And we also have $2,000 available to budget. So now, as we budget this, let's say we want uh, 300 in groceries. Say so we have a mortgage of $1,200. And as we start budgeting this, allocating the money, this amount available to budget goes down. So we have $500 left. Let's say we have health insurance. And uh, let's see, just for simplicity's sake, let's say we have a $200 auto repair. So now we've allocated all of our money. And we see the category balances over here. So we have $300 left to spend in groceries, $1,200 left to spend for the mortgage, etc. Now, the real cool part happens when we go back and now let's enter in a transaction. And let's say we went and spent $250 or $350 rather on groceries. So we select the grocery category. Let's say it was at Walmart and we'll save it. Now let's see what happened on our budget screen. Well, going back to our budgeting screen, we see that we've spent this $350, but we only budgeted $300, so we see that we are over $50 in our budget. Now, this is where you need a budget is so powerful because in Quicken, on the using the budgeting functionality, it would show you if you were over on your grocery budget, but then there's no consequence to that. It kind of leaves it up to you and says, well, whatever, you're $50 over, but we're not going to make you be accountable um, for that $50. And that's where people get into a lot of trouble. Well, here, we're held accountable. So we're $50 over, and if you go down to the you need a budget buffer, we see that that's, we're negative 50. Now, don't worry about what the buffer means. I'll go through that on subsequent podcasts. But basically, it's just saying we're going to carry that $50 over to next month's budget. And so you're starting with negative $50. So in other words, you have to budget $50 less in April, somewhere in your budget. You have to be $50 less than you were last month. Okay. Now, the other option we have is to actually, if we want to keep track of groceries specifically, we can choose to subtract it from next month's category balance. If we select this option, 
instead of showing up in your starting, you know, starting out negative fifty dollars, it's actually going to just show in the the uh, grocery category that you're negative fifty dollars. So then, when we budget our three hundred dollars, it's going to show that we, even though we've budgeted and put in three hundred dollars, we have to spend two hundred fifty dollars. So we're going to have to be a little tighter on groceries this month. So those are a couple ways of dealing it. Again, it's it's just wonderful. Now I'm going to put this back to how it was. And the other way of dealing with this $50 if we want to, rather than carrying it over to the next month's budget, is let's say our maintenance repairs was a little less than we thought and cost $150. Well, that means we have $50 available to budget. So we, we mark it down here. And you can do this at the end of the month. You know, If, if, if you only spent $150, you, know, you can put the budget category less. And that gives us $50 more to spend. And so we can put it up here in our groceries. That zeroes it out. The zeros are available to budget. We have no penalty, no carry, no no negative carryover to next month, and we're all balanced out. So that is the power of you need a budget. It's absolutely the, by far the best budgeting tool I've ever used, and it hopefully will make your life a lot easier as well as far as budgeting goes. I'm going to be doing a series of screencasts that show you exactly how to set up your accounts, how to make this work for you. So stay tuned for those. And until next time, this is Samuel Peary with Getting Finances Done and 12 Weeks of Fiscal Fitness. We'll talk to you soon.